Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, today we are looking at a fairly interesting card that if it came out, I would probably have some interesting repercussions because of it. So this is Overlay Possession. Uh, it's a normal spell card. Interesting card art, it really is. Like, I mean, just from the name and how it's looking, like two spirits kind of connected to each other. I mean, alright, alright, I can go with that. Cool art. Uh, normal spell card that reads, target one XC monster you control, then reveal one XC monster from your extra deck of the same rank. Attach it to that target as an XC material, and if you do, the target's name becomes that monster and replaces its effect with the monster's original effect until the end of the next turn. Okay, so I have XC monster, I play this, real different XC monster, attach it as an XC material, uh, Reveal one XC monster from your extra deck with, of the same rank, attach it to the target as an XC material, and then that target becomes a name. Okay, so it, it's really confusing wording, so I guess it'll be easier to explain. All right, well, you will do like 101 and Cabal, uh, and no, 101 and Castell. We'll, we'll do that. So I have a 101 on the field, all right? I play this card, I reveal one XC monster from extra deck being Castell, I attach the Castell as attach it as that target that target to that target as an same material okay so I attach it to the one as a material if I do then the one one would become castell replacing its effect and its original name until the end of the next turn so that's pretty much the gist of it okay so one one because attaches the castell to same material and then becomes castell for until the end of the next turn okay and has the name in the original effect. Interesting, interesting. You could probably do a little bit of shenanigans, you know. Uh, monsters with the same rank, you can even uh, turn monsters that are very theme-specific into things that aren't theme-specific, you know. It's kind of like Patola Miles, so it's just like, hey, I, you know, I could do things that I'm not supposed to do. This card would pretty much be in the same boat, you know. I could make a Vokasaurus, blow you up, then play this, and then, you know, attach, like, Nova as an extreme material. It becomes, well, I guess it wouldn't become that monster's type or anything along those lines, but, uh, you know, I'd become, like, a specific name or, uh, or, uh, and have a specific effect and then use that effect as well. So, you know, that's pretty powerful, I must say. Uh, I don't think that anybody would use it in a competitive sense, just because it's a neg. It, like, it really is. Like, not only are you, like, using two XC, uh, XC monsters from your extra deck, which may not be situational to the current moment, but, uh, you know, you play this, you, you go neg. Like, it doesn't give you any more resources on the field. You're not gaining anything. You're just taking a neg for this cute little play. But this card also has an additional uh, effect. An XC monster you control would activate its effect by detaching its own XC material, uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead of detaching one of those XC materials. Uh, you can only use one overlay possession effect once per only once that turn. So, simple as that. So, it's like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate, like, you know, 101 effect. Detach two, but I can just go ahead and banish this to only have to detach one and then take you, and then I'll have two materials on the 101, and then, you know. I don't believe 101 says you can only use the effect of 101 once per turn, so you can just do it again, because then you'll have two materials. The one that you kept for overlay possession, and then the monster that you took, so use your effect again. So, interesting, interesting. Uh, as I said, overall, it's not a bad card, it's just kind of gimmicky. It really is, so. Uh, if it were a, fa a real card, I don't think anybody would really run it. You know, it's just, it's not worth it to go ahead and take the nag to rip a XC monster out of your extra deck, which is more of a toolbox play, if anything, unless you're playing some uh, situational gimmicky deck that you totally want to do, uh, then, you know, more power to you. Uh, I mean, it doesn't say that you can't do, like, uh, the same name or the same monster, you know? So you can go ahead and be like, alright, well, go into Degusto Emerald, detach, shuffle, three back, draw a card, play this, uh, target XC monster I control, reveal... Same Dagger Stormroll, Tajik material, it becomes still Dagger Stormroll, and then you have to use this effect again. Well, I guess not, since this is... Well, technically, can I use the effect again? It's really confusing. It's really confusing, because I already activated the monster's effect once, but I guess unless... As long as I got the materials, and it doesn't say you can only activate the effect once per turn, or it doesn't say once per turn, then I guess you can go ahead and do it. And while I'm all saying these things, I'm not even looking at these cards, so if Emerald says once per turn, then oops. <laughs> I believe he does, because he detaches one. But, uh... Yeah, you know, or turn your emerald into a castell, spin something back, you know. There's plenty of things that you can go ahead and do with this card, but I just think it's a little bit too gimmicky. So, uh, but the second effect, that's that's pretty nice. It just banish to, uh, detach, oh, banish it instead of detaching C material. That, that could be interesting for a couple of cards. So, 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it for Fake Card Friday. So tell me what you guys think about overlay possession in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.